Hey guys, welcome back to Tales of Vesperia. Last time we got through the Blade Drifts of Fair, and we're going to enter Halur now. There sure are a lot of people here. The refugees from the capital. See how well they are dressed? How they are all well dressed? It looks like there's nothing unusual with the barrier here for now. <laughs> Carol, are you okay? Looks like he ain't okay after all. He's got a bad fever. He really overexerted himself. All because he had to go and be a hero. I swear. Yuri? Huh? Oh, sorry. Let's go get. Let's go to the inn and get so that Carol can get some rest. Carol left the part. Can't they just say he's unconscious? Like knocked out again? That's lame. Okay, let's go up here into the end. And speaketh. Hello, welcome to Denobola Inn. Don't worry about paying. Huh? Why? Well, you see, an important official is, in, is visiting the mayor's house right now, and it's by his orders. The government's handling of the money for the inn, eh, handling the money for the inn so that everyone can stay here for free. That must be for all the refugees that have come and come to the town. Circumstances being as what they are, it takes the fun out of it, but our business is booming thanks to all the visitors to our town. Sounds like a good, a good deal for the Empire. So does that mean you don't have any vacancies? You're in luck, I have one room that's not taken. Then I'll take that room, thank you. Hey there, no cutting in line. Of course, I wouldn't think of uh, not. I wouldn't think of not paying. I'll pay ten times the regular price. I'll also give the same amount to you travelers. That should settle things nicely. You son of a! I'm so. Oh, I'm so sorry. I took another look at the register, and it seems I don't actually have any vacancies. Sorry. Come again. What? I knew this town was in the sticks, but this is. Honey, let's just get. Uh, let's honey, let's just go into uh, onto Helliard from North Harbor. Well said. I should be thankful we don't have to soil our clothing in filthy little hovel like this. They're going to be in for a nasty surprise when they try to get to Nor Port Nor. <laughs> sort of kept you waiting. Your room is upstairs in front. What? But you said you said there weren't any vacancies. Business is business, right? Yes. Don't worry about it. I can't stand people like that. And wasn't it you who saved the Halurus tree? This is the least I can do. Enjoy your stay. All those refugees, the capital must be in a sorry state. What evil do you think that bastard Alexei is going to prepare, perpetrate next? Who cares about Alexei? Estelle, I want to save Estelle. Yes, but to do that, we need to take care of Alexei. And we need to come up with a better plan to do it. We cannot allow, let ourselves get all blasted away like we did back in Nor Harbor again. Da -da 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 -da. Well, we can't go anywhere till Carol's gets better, so we might as well gather some info around town, don't you think? Good idea. Someone might know end up uh, might end up saying that just the thing we need to hear. Wasn't the innkeeper saying there was someone important from the capital that was in the mayor's house? Let's go and have a look see. Old man. Someone's gotta look after the boy, don't they? Leave that to me. You kids go on ahead. Raven left the party. The me then, the me now. It's actually nice to be back. Oh. It all started with trying to recover that aquablastia. Couldn't have guessed then we'd be heading out on a trip that spanned the globe. Oh. Don't worry, Rapide. I'm the same guy now that I was then. It isn't me. It's the situation that's changed. Yeah. It's just a new set of circumstances. Oh. I don't know, you're not really going around to killing a whole bunch of officials anymore. <laughs> you haven't killed Alexa yet? Come on! I think that'd be the first person you go and kill now. Oh, I'm so glad you were all safe. Huh. You did this, right? Had the inn open its rooms free of charge? And just who are you? Watch your tongue. Do you know to whom you are... There are many who have escaped with only the shirts on their backs. I felt this was one service their country could provide for them. Hmm, okay. Actually, I'm more interested in what you can tell me about the capital. 
the capital? Zophius is no longer a city fit for any person. The city's barrier Blastia began giving off a great light, and the town was racked by earthquakes and lightning. However, the real terror came after that. A glowing fog appeared from the barrier Blastia and quickly spread throughout the city. The plants it touched grew hideously large, and the water became poison. It was hell itself. The air is out of control. Oh, that such dire events could befall Zophius, jewel of our glorious empire. If the air has covered the entire city, what is he doing to her? Th this is that turncoat Alexei's doing. I'm sure of it. He came to us demanding our obedience. And when we refused, he swore he would reduce us to dust. That beast even had the gall to t turn the royal guard on us after we made our escape. Then how did you come all this way unharmed? Flynn held them off for us. It is thanks to him that we refugees arrived here safely. If he hadn't come to our aid just then, we all would have died. Oh, I'd love to hear more about how great Flynn is, believe me. But I haven't seen anyone from the lower quarter here. What happened to them? I'm sorry. I haven't seen anyone either. They must have been left behind, with all that air flooding out. It was all we could do to save ourselves. With all that was happening, we were unable to take everyone with us. We did all we could. You must understand. Oh, yeah? Hey. I'll be at the end. There's the dark side I was looking for. <laughs> okay, uh, back in the end. And I have no idea where I have to go. Room locked. Oh, there we go. His Highness is... It sounds like the entire capital's been covered in air. And the one in the middle of it all is most likely... That's insane. If he's using Estelle to cause all of that, then... Oh, she can't handle that. Who knows how much of a toll it takes on her each time she's forced to use her power. She was already having problems controlling it. Now there's no telling what will happen to her. What if... What if we get there too late and... Even if we take out Alexei, she... Do... Do you think maybe there's a way to get her power under control? There is. There has to be. We just haven't found it yet. Huh. Hey, what about the knights? Flynn's doing what he can, but it's not enough. They don't have De Nomos. Hmm. I'll try asking Pharaoh. It would be good to know how much time we have left. <sighs> Yuri! Hey, did we wake you up? How are you feeling? Looks like I slowed you guys down again. You're going to the capital, right? Don't worry about that now. We're still figuring out what to do. You just get better. Yeah, I just don't want to be left behind, okay? Our whole guild is gonna rescue Estelle! I know. Why don't you try and get some more sleep, huh? Okay. I can't seem to reach him. The air may be causing interference. No big deal. Either way, it's just a matter of making Alexei sorry he ever started this. Right? And nothing more? I'm gonna go get some fresh air. Keep an eye on Carol for me. A job nobody wants to do. Except for repeat. Is repeat not every part of everyone? Oh uh, yeah, so head on out of town. 